they're billowing or having clothes? What do these three things have in, current, in common? An onion, a cake, and an atmosphere. They all have layers. Yes, they all have layers. So, everything we're talking about today is the layers of the atmosphere. Um, so, you have your guided notes. So, you're going to fill in the blanks. And then I, but first, I have to like, introduce myself. Um, Okay. So these are your objectives. I won't read over those. I just have, I have to have those over for you. Okay, so here's a little bit about me. My name is Kylie Daggert, and I'm a senior here at Eaton County. I have a wingy doll named Shorty Mac and two German Shepherds. My favorite TV show is Friends. After high school, I plan to major in elementary education and be a first or second grade teacher. And I own my own tutoring business in Lake. I opened this year, and I worked at a tutoring business last year, too. So here's your guided questions. This is stuff that you should be able to answer by the end of the lesson. How many layers of the atmosphere are there? What is the outer layer of the atmosphere? And what all do you know about the atmosphere? Here's your vocab. I won't make you write them down, but it's just the definition of each layer. Okay, and here's, if I were y'all for the, we're gonna play Kahoot at the end, I would probably write this down if you wanna win because it's going to help you remember it, but this is not to. It's the snow makes things exciting, and it, this is the light, I mean, this is the order right there. So I know it's easier to remember stuff sometimes with a saying, so I'll give y'all a minute to write that down. like the last one just look at your notes okay all right so this is where your notes start so whatever is in the white is going to go in the blank so make sure you go in order and then follow along with the sentence so you make sure that you don't mess it up so the atmosphere is a mixture of gases that's your first blank that surrounds the earth it helps make life possible by providing us with air to breathe shielding us from harmful UV radiation that's your second blank coming from the sun trapping heat from the planet and extreme temperature differences between day and night. So that's what the atmosphere does. It just makes our living conditions better and without it, all that <coughs> regulation, like, it'd be almost impossible to live here. The first, or it'll be your second one. This is only the troposphere. The troposphere is the lowest layer, starting at the bottom of Earth's atmosphere. Most of the mass of the atmosphere is in the troposphere. Most types of clouds are found in the troposphere, and almost all weather occurs within this layer. So, what you need to know about this layer is it's the weather. That's the troposphere includes all your weather, your clouds, everything. That's your bottom layer. Your second layer is the stratosphere. The stratosphere lies above the Earth's weather and changes very little. So this one is above the troposphere and it doesn't change a lot. It contains the ozone layer which shields us from the sun's UV radiation. So 
This one contains the ozone layer, which again is part of the atmosphere. It helps us to be protected from the UV radiation. The third layer is the mesosphere. Next layer just means middle. So this layer is you got two down here, and then you got the mesos in the middle. So that was easy to remember because middle and meso, and then you got two above it. So it's the highest layer of the atmosphere in which the gases are all mixed up. So after this point, they're not mixed up anymore. They're separated rather than being layered by their mass. So they're not, this one over here is just in the middle. Okay, the fourth layer is the thermosphere. So does anybody know which therm, like thermostat? What do you think that means? Heat. Yeah, like heat temperature. So thermosphere lies between the exosphere and the mesosphere. So in the middle of those two. Thermo means heat. And the temperature in this layer can reach up to 4,500 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's really hot. So just remember the thermosphere is all about your heat. It's really hot there. The last layer is the exosphere. So I think of the exosphere as like the exit. It's at the very top, okay? So it's your last one is at the exit. The exosphere is the uppermost region of the Earth's atmosphere and has no clear upper boundaries since it gradually fades into outer space. So this layer, there's no way to go into something else. It just goes out into outer space. This is what you're going to be making. <coughs> I'm going to give y'all the stuff. Um, I'm going to leave the directions up here because when I did it, I did it last week during Thanksgiving break and I had to follow the directions. So, okay, don't touch none of this stuff here because I'm probably going to have to ask. You're, all, you're going to get one cup and you're going to do it as a group. So, I'm going to put all the stuff in bowls and you're going to have it on the table.